Dallas is more than just a city. It's a collection of diverse, thriving neighborhoods, all each offering their own unique flavor, fun, and a healthy dose of the unexpected. We'll be visiting some of the hidden gems and all-time favorites these neighborhoods have to offer in order to hopefully inspire you to set out on your own Dallas neighborhood adventure. Join us as we experience Dallas. Established in 1907, Hockland Park has become one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in the nation, rivaling even Beverly Hills. Along with beautiful tree-lined roads, gorgeous parks, and amazing historical homes, you'll also find some of the finest shopping in Dallas at Highland Park Village. Constructed in 1931, it was the first shopping center of its kind, and today it still stands as a premier retail destination, as well as a great place to grab lunch or dinner. But Highland Park is much more than just a glitzy shopping destination. It's also home to Southern Methodist University, as well as the Bush Presidential Library. Join us as we explore this amazing neighborhood. Located on the campus of Southern Methodist University, the George W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum serves as a resource for the study of the life and career of George W. Bush, while also promoting a better understanding of the presidency and American history. Housed inside the Bush Center, the museum features a 20-foot tall, 360-degree high-definition video wall, as well as a full-size replica of the White House Oval Office. Among the 43,000 artifacts held at the library, the Nation Under Attack exhibit also displays steel from the World Trade Center and the bullhorn President Bush used to address the crowd at Ground Zero. We spoke with Museum Director General Patrick Mordente to find out more. Thank you so much for being with us today, General Mordente. When was the museum established? We actually opened the doors to the museum back in April of uh, 2013. And that morning, we were fortunate enough to have with us our five living presidents. What we would like to do with this museum is we want to take our guests and take them back to a point in history uh, at the beginning of the Bush administration. And we want to walk them through eight years of that administration. They'll be able to interact uh, with some of our exhibits. In Decision Point Theater, you'll actually get to review four uh, crisis situations that happened during the Bush administration. You'll actually get to, to play a part of history. And I think the next thing they see that's unique is the steel from the Twin Towers. It's a very emotional display and it's a time that people can reflect on that. But then they'll transition from there to uh, what is unique probably for presidential libraries, but we have a replica of the Oval Office as it looked during the Bush administration. All the way down to the books and the pictures hanging on the wall. Uh, our guests are able to go behind the Resolute desk and sit and take a picture. Why was Highland Park chosen as the location for this museum? We're right in the heart of Dallas, Texas, right here in Highland Park, and surrounded by many folks who can enjoy uh, what this museum has to offer. Thank you so much for being with us today, General Mordente. We appreciate your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Highland Park Village is Highland Park's premier shopping destination. One of the more notable boutiques here is Hadley's, which Esquire magazine has called one of the best clothing stores in America. Hadley specializes in bespoke fashion, creating the perfect fit for you every time. Owner Ed Shake filled us in on what keeps Hadley's on trend. Well, Ed, thank you so much for chatting with us today. So tell us, how did Hadley's originally come about? Hadley's was actually originated in 2009. It's mm -hmm. named after our daughter, Hadley. Oh. She's now 10 years old. Mm -hmm. Our business is quite exclusive to hand workmanship. Mm -hmm. What you buy at Hadley's today, it'll be only from Dallas and Highland Park Village. Now you specialize in bespoke clothing and for those who may not know exactly what that means, explain it to us. Bespoke clothing translates into uh, bespoken, which means that it's spoken for you. It's something that's unique to the individual who is commissioning the tailor or the artist to create a garment for them. So what are some of your favorite pieces in the store? I would say our favorite piece would be our iconic men's slipper. We create that slipper by hand in Spain and also the creation of the slipper is with our iconic embroidered logo that's on top of it. Like you are initiated to a private club like Hadley's and that's the reason we invented or created that slipper. Well, we can look around and see the beautiful men's collection, but you also have a women's collection too. My wife, Gable, she is the designer for the women's collection. She went to FIT in New York, and she designs this collection hands-on. Uh, the women's collection is quite inspired by menswear, so she uses a lot of great shirting fabrics from menswear, and she evolved them into shirting for women. So we make, we create bespoke shirting for women and stock ready to wear, which is available in Holland Park downstairs shop. Tell us what you love about being located in this plaza. 
My wife and I met in Highland Park Village oh. working mm -hmm. for another brand. Our family is here, our kids go to school in Armstrong. So it's a very special place. Well, thank you for sharing with us today. It's an honor, thank you. Bistro 31 is another cornerstone of Highland Park Village. The restaurant offers an upscale European experience in both food selection and atmosphere. The menu specializes in French, Italian, and Spanish influences and changes with the seasons. Bistro 31 serves brunch, lunch, and dinner, so whatever time you find yourself hungry, your appetite is sure to be satisfied with their delicious creations. We chatted with owner Alberto Lombardi to find out more. Thank you, Mr. Lombardi, for taking the time to talk to us today. We really appreciate your time. So tell us, how would you describe Bistro 31 for someone that has not been here? It's a very elegant place, an understated place, you know, where when you are inside of Bistro 31, you feel like you are not in Dallas. You are pretty much, you feel like you are in Italy. What kind of food can visitors expect when they come to Bistro 31? We say Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. You have a little bit of uh, south of France, you have a little bit of Spain, and you have a lot of Italy. We have two or three beautiful pasta. One of my favorite is spaghetti chitarra with lobster bolognese. You have a beautiful space downstairs for dining. Tell us a little bit about what happens upstairs. When you go upstairs, we call it Lounge 31. Basically, it's a sushi lounge. How do you feel about being located in Highland Park? If you visit Dallas, you cannot miss Highland Park in general, Highland Park Village, because we have the most beautiful shop around here. And also, being at Bistro 31, you will experience something that you may not have experienced anywhere else. It was such a pleasure talking to you um, about Bistro 31, Mr. Lombardi. Thank you so much. Well, I want to thank you to come in and visit us. Hope to see you soon. Of course. Highland Park and the Park Cities are truly unique places to behold. There's a definite sense of refinement and culture that really needs to be experienced in person. So come see for yourself. <laughs>